Yeah, guys, we've had the rig shut down for 30 minutes or 20 minutes, and it's still rock and rolling. So we got great pressure on here. We've sent out for a uh, orbit valve that we can control this thing with, but this thing is uh, starting to unload. Like I say, that's a good sign to have this kind of energy. Dean, you want to give them a quick narrative about what's going on? Yeah, we're just bringing the load water off of it, so we expected it to be able to flow on its own from, uh, you know, for some portion of its flow back. That's just a real good sign. We've got good formation energy down there. We're actually going to put a uh, an orbit valve on top of it. We don't want the well to to blow right, out on us. Dean and I are rigging up a gauge here for this. We got to give you an idea. We got to fill four of these up with the treatment water. They hold 500 barrels each. And as you can see, we just barely started pulling on this and the line's starting to get active again. But uh, Dean and I are going to put this little gauge together so we can keep a handle on how much uh, flow back we're getting from our stimulation treatment fluid. Now while we're taking a break, <laughs> the, the well is blowing uh, out the top of our stand. <laughs> yeah, the rig's not even on. <laughs> Sample of the day, as you can see, oil. And we had 250 feet of oil on top of the load water. You can see we've got quite a bit of oil in the bucket too. Uh, we still have a lot of load water to recover. So we'll still be getting uh, oil mixed with water. And yeah, it's a good sign. We had 200 PSI on the well this morning when we opened it. run of the day and you can see a lot of oil there. They got load water behind it. Uh, a lot of oil in there in the sample. Third swab of the day. Still got uh, oil on top with the uh, load water coming back underneath it. see the suspended oil particles in this last sample of load water is floating around. Pretty interesting to see. This is our first sample of the day. As you can see the oil cuts are coming up. Uh, get real, real strong energy in the well which is really good. And uh, high quality oil. We're going to have it analyzed at a lab today and see what how properties maybe differ from ASE 3 if any. The other positive thing is our fluid levels staying the same, about 1,700. We had 200 PSI on the well this morning when we opened it. So we're getting really good feed in. We're not uh, pumping off at all. We've got great res reservoir energy, good fluid levels, so uh, it's looking like a really good well. Here at the ASC 1 location, if you look in the background, right through that grove of trees is the ASC 4. We're very excited because we're not only going to be able to transfer this fracking technology to the ASC 2 and 3, but we're going to be able to also do that to the ASC 1. And the good part is we have all the facilities in place. The flow lines to all four wells are run. We just need to frack the ASC 1, 2, and 3. And they're ready to hook up. Facilities are in place. We're very excited about that. We'll have a lot of oil production from among the four wells very quickly on this project.